Hello guys, Dax here. So today I'm going to show you how to use Plexus with only After Effects. Uh, so there are many ways to do it, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say what you can do and I'm going to show you only one way to do it. So yeah. Uh, we want something uh, like this. So only Plexus once again. Uh, nothing somewhere else. Okay, so it's not really complicated. You just need to to use the weapon. So you've got different ways to do it. You can mask the gun. Uh, you can use a layer where there is only the gun, like I'm going to do. Or you use rotoscoping yes, for the gun. So yeah, uh, let's go. You create a new composition with the weapon layer. Call it whatever you want, whatever you want. I mean. Uh, you import it in your main composition then you go back to it and we only want the gun and as you can see on CSGO you've got the sky even though if you have the smoke and if you put uh, enable skybox smoke it won't work okay because it's still a shit game so yeah and they never did something about this so don't accept it to happen because it won't happen uh, just use the mask tool. So I'm going to do something really simple. You just have to avoid the elements which aren't green. And then you have to use the key light effect. You don't need to load it. It's already in, uh, into After Effects. Then you use this, this, boom. Okay. And I'm going to add some feather to the mask to avoid the visible line between the mask and the main part so yeah uh, let's go and now if you go back to main you should only have your can and you can see there's no problem so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make a mask or rotoscoping so for me it would be a pre an auto trace so i just go here i click on my footage i click on layer auto trace and then you will have a kind of preview so you can play with the settings to have something more interesting okay uh, it only depends on what you want so i'm just going to leave the default settings that i'm using so yeah and then you're gonna use the work area not current frame because if you do, do current frame it will only do on one frame so you do work area and you make and you click on ok so it's doing it you just have to wait So it was pretty quick and as you can see it created me a black solid with two masks. Um, so yeah as you can see the the pink one is about elements that are moving into the scene if I just remove yeah, as you can see it's here and there's something like that yes. okay so you just Go, you just remove this mask, okay, it's not useful, and then, as you can see, we've got our gun, which is masked. Uh, so, now we just create a new solid, so black solid, and you name it as you want, so for me it would be Plexus. Then, you just take the mask, and you pass it into Plexus. You remove this and then you take the Plexus plugin. There we go. So now you're gonna add some, um, you're gonna add on, add geometry. You add path. No, it's layer. I, I don't remember it's one of them. I think it's path. And it's path, yes. So, um, now we can play with the settings. So I'm gonna need to put 200 for example I will have more points uh, I can put more video, more opacity okay I'm just going to do something really weird just to show you it works and uh, yeah I'm going to add some lines so it's in 200 lines okay uh, I'm put this yeah I'm just gonna put this to 0.5 or less. Uh, 
Okay, so now if you go back to your main, you will have the plexus on your gain, and it will be already kind of tracked, but it's only a mask, so yeah, it works like this. Uh, as you can see, it's not really complicated, so now what you have to do is to modify uh, the plexus effect as you want, and yeah, so... I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want to see more, or if you have questions, feel free to ask. So yeah, thank you for watching, and bye!